Hello everyone and welcome, I'm Kiv and today I want to share with you all some Halo fan-made animations because apparently this is a side of the community that just doesn't get as much love and attention as it deserves. Uh, so uh, apparently there's some ones by Sodaz which has come out recently and uh, those ones are supposed to be what the Halo show should have been, according to my mates. So, let's check it out, let's see if there's anything cool in there, and we'll just go from there, I guess. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm in for, but apparently it's really good. So yeah, let's, uh, let's check it out, and let's see how it racks up against the Halo show, because, I mean, if one person doing some solo animation work can beat a 90 million dollar budget show, then that's both sad and amazing for who did it. <laughs> so hopefully we see some top quality stuff right now, um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's just get right into it, I guess. Uh, so we've got Sodaz and the Halo Whips, uh, okay. Alright, so we've got it on 1080p, we've got Halo Whip 01 by Sodaz, uh, let's, let's check it out, eh? Yeah, let's, let's see what we're in for. Ooh, love the Halo Reach music. You can just tell from the very beginning. <laughs> so I'm, I'm guessing this is set during the fall of Reach, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm guessing, yeah. <laughs> Uh, there's a lot of, yeah, a lot of cool details there so far. That looks pretty nice. Okay, so we've got like a bit of a battle here between some UNSC. Oh, dude, that's some serious nice quality there. There's so many moving pieces already. Wow. Wow, that's actually really amazing. <laughs> Assault rifle sounds a bit different, but I don't know, I actually kind of like it. <laughs> Yeah, good job, boys. Oh! Oh, boy! These Sword Elites coming out of nowhere! They just charge in the front lines! Oh! Oh, mate, that's scary. That's that's basically Halo Wars in, <laughs> in animation, man. That's mad. <laughs> Dude, that looks so good! And then just... I love the way that the assault rifle being fired, like, the light of that, the muzzle flash, is just illuminating the Elite. Oh, dude, that looks so good. That's, oh, that's the stuff you see in your nightmares. <laughs> that's amazing quality and really good attention to detail there. Yeah, that's, that's just crazy. Wow. I'm already blown away. Like, that, that was, that was the first whip. It's 50 seconds. I'm already impressed. I, I, there's five parts. Let's just, let's see how we go on the rest of those, eh? If the rest of it's that quality, I'm, I'm very impressed. <laughs> Alright, so this is, this is part two. This is, yeah, okay. It looks like we get like a bit of a recap sort of thing before we start jumping into the rest of it, but yeah, just look at all of the attention to detail, the quality in those animations is so good. Wow. Dude, <laughs> so much personality to it all. You know? And it just goes from, like, one thing to another. That's... that's really good. Look at how good that looks, man! Oh! <laughs> Let's go! We got ODSTs? Was that a Spartan on the backseat gunner? Maybe. Oh yeah, it looks like it was. Oh, that, that... yeah, that movement's nice, and... Oh, another Spartan. Oh yeah. Here we go. <laughs> He's just yelling at him. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sniper Spartan as well with some crack shots. Oh, that camera angle as well. Just dipping down slightly as well. Oh, the movement is so good. It's so fluid. That that just feels so awesome in how the camera moves. Look at that. It's just one thing after another. Oh. <laughs> wow. I mean, honestly, just just wow. Look at this. This is this is exactly what the Halo show should have been. This is phenomenal. It's just one thing after another. Listen to that sound design as well. This guy's redone parts of the sound design for things. That Warthog and the Assault Rifle. Yes! ODSTs! Let's go, boys! Oh, finally! My man! <laughs> they get the love and attention they deserve. And like, oh, they, yeah, they're being a lot more tactical and backing up the Spartans, which I love. Like, yeah, just... 
Hold on. Yeah, look at that. Oh, man. Like, that is just so good. You can see how the ODSTs are different, and also the Spartans are just a cut above as well. Like... You've got the normal marines that are just holding the front line. You've got ODSTs being, like, tactical and stealthy. And then you've got Spartans moving quickly, being aggressive, and just being what Halo players are like in the campaign. You know, like, the, the, the this guy clearly understands the different branches of the UNSC and how they fight as well. Like, yeah, this is... This is a lot of, like, attention to detail, but also just knowing how Halo works and how it plays. Like, that is, that is really good. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Hold on a second there. Are those Marines redesigned? They, like, the body and stuff looks the same as a normal Marine, but that headpiece with, like, the glasses and the balaclava... That looks a bit different. I don't know. I, I, I don't recognize any normal Halo Reach Marines looking like that. And the Brutes also look as if they've been retouched as well. Like, yeah, these guys these guys look like what we see in Halo 2 concept art. Like, damn, dude. <laughs> that reminds me of those Brutes that we see in the Halo 3 ODST trailer. Like, yeah, dude, those guys look mean. Oh, I love that. Yeah, that looks awesome. Okay, a bit of a jackal here as well. Yeah, he looks okay, I guess. Oh, assassination! Oh, yep, and then the stealthy ODST's backing them up, and then... Oh, yep, finds a DMR. <laughs> Alright, no worries, no worries, and then... Ah, bah, bah. Oh, yes, the camera movement's behind that. Oh, wait, hold on a second. What the hell? Yeah, dude, that brute shot sounds deadly. Listen to that. That sounds like an M1 Garand. <laughs> that is so awesome. This guy's redesigned, like, the models. He's redesigned audio. And, like, oh, there's so much stuff that not only has Sodaz just gone and, like, taken what's there. He's, like, improved and added his own flair to so many things. That, I, I'm really impressed by that. That's a lot of effort and a lot of hard work. I, wa I want to see where part four is on this one. I, th I know there's five parts, but I don't want to show the fifth part because I, I, I genuinely don't want to show all of it. I, I, I'll, I'll, look, I'll look at part four because I've seen these ones and I'm interested to see how that continues on. I, I want to see if we see the brutes in combat. That'd be interesting. All right, so part four. Here we go. Oh, okay, so we're in space. Oh, that's breathtaking. That looks so good. That looks so nice, dude. Oh, no way! Holy crap! Dude, I'm just taking it all in. Like, this is, this is what we should have gotten in the Halo TV show, man. This right here is what we should have gotten. Dude, that looks amazing! The space battles, oh... Wow, there's so many moving pieces. Let's back up there for a bit, eh? Just take that in. Take that shot in with the Covenant invading Earth, and then you've got the UNSC defending it. Like, that is... Oh, wow. That is phenomenal. Dude, that is absolutely amazing. It looks so good. And then, like, even all of, like, the Covenant, like, different in, like, the weapons and, like, those missiles that you can just see streaking through the air, all of them have their own designated parts. That would have taken so long to plan out. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, what have we got over here? Oh, we got ODST drop pods dropping in. Hey, let's go! Yes, I love the ODST attention. That's a real Halo fan right there. You know that they're a true Halo fan when you see the love and care that ODSTs get. <laughs> oh, dude. That looks so good. Like, I I'm not sure if that's like an image that person has worked with or what, but yeah, that city that they have underneath, like, that's, that's amazing. Yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm already subscribed. I'm done. That's it. <laughs> I'm happy with that. <laughs> that looks so goddamn good, and I am so impressed by that, honestly. Like, uh, man, I am just lost for words. That is, that is 
ridiculously good. I, I know that there's the Halo VFX, which has the Charity Falls series, but this right here is exactly what we should have gotten from the Halo TV show, because Charity Falls is like a really different tone and feel, and it's like blur cinematics level quality, but this right here, th this is some top quality stuff. That is what we should have gotten from the Halo show, because the, the, the action is amazing, and it's choreographed so well with the camera movements. The guy understands how Marines, ODSTs, and Spartans all act really differently, and at the same time, they're working together to help each other out. Like, in the Halo show, it's always just like, oh, Spartans are god tier, and then the Marines are just bots in the background just running around. Like, when was the last time you saw the Marines uh, actually do something in Halo Infinite, even? You know? Like, the Marines in Infinite are useless. Like, this guy understands all of that, and you can tell it from, as a Halo fan watching it, I appreciate all of that so much. That, that is amazing. Uh, so, he has a fifth part to it, but honestly, I don't want to show it, because I want all of you to go over and check it out, because if you haven't seen this already, this is some really good stuff. Let me know what you guys think about all of this Halo fan animation stuff, and aside from the Charity Fall series, if you do know any other ones that you'd love me to check out, then let me know in the comments, and uh, yeah. So yeah, I think that's probably a good point to call it for today. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed this video. It was a really different style, and I know that React's sort of stuff is not really something I'm big on, but I wanted to really bring some special attention and have a bit of fun with this. So, I hope you guys enjoy the video, and I'll see you all on the next one. I've been Kiv, and I'm out. <laughs>